Ever back to this video here, Connors. Transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. Uh, basically, me reacting to a bunch of videos or a bunch of screen caps of comments I got from YouTube and DeviantArt. Usually, uh, their response to screen the uh, comments I made against these deviant lifestyles and a few other things. Trigger warning. Let's get on here. You got this girl basically you're trying, still trying to say, no, no. See, the deal is that my body's wrong somehow. <laughs> okay, somehow my body's wrong because this feeling that you're saying is wrong. Even though I get clean bills of health, even though you know everything's functioning like it's not supposed to, it, it somehow it's just wrong. I'm like, no. Mm. I'm saying the body is not wrong. You, you know, you get a clean bill of health, your body's not wrong. It's nothing wrong with your body. It's, it's your, your thinking that's the problem here. And she's like, she's not liking that. Mm, you know, I, and I said, actually, you can say this stuff. No, James, this stuff. Once you know what it is, temptation to sin. The transgender feelings are not race related. They're a part of a belief system, a bad one. And then uh, she said, all right, then prove it. Also, yes, a lot of immutable things are not race related. Mm. And I say, you believe that there are male and female feelings when there aren't. And that you have to lie about your body sex and you don't. Also, this four years right when it's not. Mm. I still haven't gotten any sources that I like. Mm. <laughs> That I care, you care about. I was showing you scientific evidence of what truly is male and what truly is female. Mm -hmm. You really just sent me the definition of ovaries and testicles. That says nothing about trans people, mm -hmm. except for they are confused about what makes up one male or female. Mm -hmm. I know the difference between male and men, women, man, male and man, female and woman. Do you know that man is a slang term for a male and woman is a slang term for a female? Because mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, no, they're not. Uh, no, that's not the case, because I say it's not. Uh, I ignore the fact that it obviously is. Mm -hmm. I said, how come the phrases like take it like a man, or you throw like a girl exist. They are obviously based on stereotypes of what males and females are like, supposedly. Mm -hmm. uh, this she says, well, yes, no one's saying gender stereotypes aren't bad. Well, that's not where trans people come from. Mm -hmm. Where do they come from? When we're born with why just more of dysphoria. No, just more uh, dysphoria. No, you learn it over time. Mm -hmm. Based on our bodies. So, you know, based on your thinking. Mm -hmm. And the social dysphoria extends from that. Mm -hmm. Fear. Mm -hmm. yeah, from that. I don't know why it happens because it's relief. Mm -hmm. So don't dare ask. But my best guess is this sort of like autism, where it's also from your brain being wired differently. Like, like I say, I don't agree. <laughs> autism. Saying I have autism. Mm, I don't. Mm, yeah. If I do, they, they, if I actually do, uh, I don't care because uh, I'm still a person. So yeah. Mm, let's go. Mm. But I say I don't agree. I believe that people born with normal human bodies are not born hating them, but learn over time because of bad procedures. So they need to be taught better. Mm. So as a source mm, that I care about. No, I will not engage in your arguments until you provide credible, unbiased sources that I like. Do back them up. And back them up, I mean back them up. Not just define definitions of things I quite clearly already know what your with your added commentary. Mm. I say right here. These are unbiased sources that show what's truly male and truly female. When trans people source and say the opposite, they are lying. Mm. Like what? That's 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 a definition of the stuff. Like that that shows that uh, you know I'm not male. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Do they really? With those disguises and lies? Oh, yeah. Part three? What? Sands on me. You're lying about what it looks like. Stop doing that. Mm -mm. I'm not lying to anyone. No, you know. By using those pronouns you refer to, you are lying. All those pins do are admitting they're lying about what it looks like. Stop doing that. Mm -hmm. You care about lying. You care about being you myself. No, you care about lying. I care about lying. Mm -hmm. Christianity. Sorry. They want the truth. Makes it not a lie then. You bring yourself. Then we don't need to retransition. No, they lie about your biological sex and disguise your body to help with that lie. You want to look like you want, but that's always not always possible. But you can do yourself without looking like you want. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you're lying. Mm -hmm. You don't actually care about lying. Uh, I would like to be who I am. Mm -hmm. You are who you are. You are you, are you now. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I, who I am is what I tell you. Mm, so I'm not disguising anything that you are. Mm, yeah. What's the point of changing something if no one else will ever see it? Mm, mm, you know, mm. Also, my gen no, my gender is not about being masculine. About privilege. Only of those things I would have been a tomboy. You're not trying to disguise anything. Then why transition? Mm, you are you, no matter what you look like. And you say it's, it's not for privilege, but you obviously feel there's a benefit to doing it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I transition because I have this condition called gender dysphoria. You believe is telling you something that's true when it's not it's not uh it's basically a mental condition where someone feels immense discomfort pain with features related to their uh assigned at birth mm. a s a b assigned at birth uh physical features pronouns mostly basically like what most people would feel just suddenly switch sexes uh dysphoria is different for everyone well it's the same it's fear mm. Uh, there's only one way to, no way and way to be trans. So, you know, there actually is. Mm -hmm. There's only two. Mm -hmm. Hiding and disguising female traits, or hiding and disguising male traits. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Lying. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It's kind of complicated, actually, pretty simple. Mm -hmm. In the American Flavor Country Association, I'm explaining this uh, link I don't care about. Uh, and it's not just about what you look like. Like I said, there's no way, one way to be trans. There's two ways. You know, and there's lots of cross dressing uh, G and C trans people out there. 
And they just validate everyone else. No, they're not. They're not even doing myself still. Yes, there's benefit. The benefit is relieving dysphoria instead of you know, fighting against it, giving into it. No, I could just be a tomboy. I tried that. Trust me. So there are benefits, I say. And you'd rather say that kissing dysphoria, that is kissing dysphoria is what? I'd rather kick it with all the lies it tells. And you're right. There are many ways to be deceived. But it's always under this. It's a feeling that tells you that something is wrong with your body when nothing actually is. Then the feeling is wrong, not your body. That's the, I, I, I did not say being, say be a tomboy. I said you can be you without transitioning mm, you can't mm, yep uh yeah of course there are benefits i wouldn't spend much time and money just for fun my point is that i'm doing it for myself not anyone else yeah you're doing it for other people too mm, yeah, you know. uh the word present mm, is for other people mm, uh yeah reflect my pronouns is for other people mm, you know i don't know what to tell you well this is a proven way to, this is a proven way to make it go away at least for a little bit mm, it'll come back again have i tried to force itself to be something i wasn't yes mm, you still are uh why would I be comfortable with skin if I had the choice? Absolutely, but you, no one will ever become fully comfortable with skin. You have to learn to be comfortable with skin enough to accept your body as is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I have prayed to every god anyone can come up with more than make it go away. You know it. It doesn't tell, it doesn't tell me anything. It does. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it tells you. Mm-hmm. Obviously. A feeling gets up in there, and you're like, oh, crap, what do I do? You know, mm-hmm. That's telling you stuff. Mm-hmm. When I hear voices in my head, I go to the doctor. Not to uh, not do what those voices tell me, you know, yeah, except for this one. And yes, the effect was my brain. It was just your, you know, your mind, your thinking. Not my body. Unfortunately, that is the way. To, that is the way to cure it. No, it's not. It was like how cure the depression is therapy and treatment, not just be happy. The cure of gender dysphoria is transition, not just be comfortable with skin. No, it's not. It's learn to be comfortable with skin. I'm not saying I'm not saying you should be comfortable with skin. No one's really comfortable with skin. I'm saying I'm lying about your body. Except for pronouns. That's why it will never go away. You will always have to fight it. Everyone does. It speaks feelings and wills words, and it is lying. Transitioning will not get rid of it. Learning to accept your body as it is will with help. Okay. Learning to accept your body as it was born will help. It's so always our body insecurities. I don't feel the need to change those things. Mm-hmm. Except for that stuff. Mm-hmm. This is not the same as it is. Mm-hmm. Saying that dysphoria doesn't go away and that transition doesn't fix it does not change the fact that it has for me and others as long as the bubble doesn't burst. As mm-hmm. long as the transistor fantasy is good. As long as I don't look at the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, hide. Hide the facts. Mm-hmm. Hide them. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as that works. You're bringing the truth in and then that sucks. Mm-hmm. You know, stop it. Stop bursting my bubbles. Mm-hmm. You know. For me and others, me and others, at least for a little bit. I would rather be happy than miserable with the promise that maybe some, if I also do just the right thing, well, I may possibly go to heaven after I die. Uh, that's really sad. <laughs> you always have to fight it. Everyone does. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's not normal, my friend. You have some stuff to work out. You actually, you, it is normal. <laughs> this is what the the earth. This is the fantasy stuff. <laughs> that's not normal. Uh, you, having to fight against these bad feelings? What? <laughs> no. You don't, you don't have to fight against bad feelings. You can, uh, you know, just you know, give in to them. <laughs> And it is like uh, you're dealing with those bad feelings still. You know, fight them. Mm, get away from that. Like I said, it doesn't tell me anything. It tells you a lot. Mm, dysphoria is not a separate entity. It is mm, <laughs> part of my brain. It was a separate entity. Mm, it was you. I feel it. You're hearing voices inside your head. You need help. Like, apparently, we both do. You think that lying about your sex is the best way to get to life, but it's one of the worst. You're happy as long as one who tells you the truth about what your body you have. Running, ruining the transgender illusion. Mm, and you think that dysphoria is part of your brain? That's a terrible belief. If it's part of you, then you shouldn't resist it. That's like what it wants. Mm, that makes it easier for you to deceive and uh, deceive you, for it to deceive you and deceiving others. And there's more Christian Christianity than going to heaven when we die. There's learning to live God's way. There's learning to trust that He gave you the body you're supposed to have. So no need to transition. No need to lie about your biological sex. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> yeah. They try to say. She tries to say. You know, I'm not lying about my biological sex. But but then it's like, oh, respect the pronouns that are lying about my biological sex. <laughs> you know, it doesn't work. Not a way through life, yes, yes. <laughs> Is it something I've done not to be miserable through life? <laughs> I have a life other than being trans and involves you know, being trans. In fact, sometimes I just forget about it altogether. You know, then you're reminded of it by the truth. <laughs> Perfectly fine people knowing I'm trans, as long as they don't treat me differently from any other person I met. In fact, I said I'm happy to tell them myself, uh, but you're lying. <laughs> that's a, if it's part of you, then you shouldn't resist it. So that's my point. It's not part of you. <laughs> I had it my whole life because it's you're fighting it your whole life. <laughs> Some of my earliest signs, I remember when I was a toddler, I remember wishing I could go a uh, you know, penis way back then, so not just about aesthetic. Mm-hmm, yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Plus, you're talking about dysphoria like it's a sanctioned being. It is mm-hmm, dangerous, bad news. Mm-hmm. It is of the dark. Mm-hmm, you know. It is not. Mm-hmm. It doesn't want to like, like or hate anything. It, doesn't, it hates you. Mm-hmm. It hates all people. Mm-hmm. It is evil. Mm-hmm. It is wrong. It is something like a little different in my brain. It's like autism or ADHD, ADHD or OTC. I say, no, it isn't. Mm-hmm. None of those things. It's empty to die, to lie. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about.
Good. None of those intentions are lie. This for you does. And you're right. It does stem from childhood. Kids are jealous of others, too. Ooh. <laughs> they don't like that. <laughs> yep. Guys, I'll see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube. All right. Let's get you on here. Well, then, depression and OCD are not equally valid because they have different symptoms.